I'm Lenny. And my name's Grandad. Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's vlog and as we said in last week's if you watched it we're going to be doing tricky mortars and tenons. <laughs> Aidy's way. Not my way, not a joiner's way, this is Aidy's way, Grandad's way. And and the of way working it yeah, out. Yeah and the way I've come up with doing that is like this, rightly or wrongly. It's the only way I can figure it out in my head. Um We've watched some videos. Yeah. Watched some other vlogs and they cut the corners and things like that but yeah. you're doing it a different i'm just doing it in a, a simpler way i can understand yeah. basically and all i'm all i'm concentrating on at the moment is this is my angle i need to create when they're joined together so i need to cut a mortise out on this side a pocket and a tenon out on this side and all i'm going to do is i'm going to work out where my tenon needs to be and then I'm going to concentrate on cutting the tenon out. Once I've cut the tenon out, I can then transfer those cuts and mark the lines onto here to mark out for the mortise so they'll marry together. Yeah. There is other ways of doing it, but this is just my way. And I've measured off from the router and I know that I can cut a, a, a depth when that when my trim route is there. I know I can cut a, a pocket of about 35 mil. So my tong needs to be 35 mil or just under. So I need to put a line that's square off of there. 30, just under 35 mil. Just, to, just that away? yeah, just a shade under 35 mil. So I'll put it about yeah 34 mil there. Same on here. 34 mil and then I'm going to put a line between those two points across there so we're doing this after the event of you actually making the frame because grandad came up here and got excited and cut it out without bringing the GoPro <laughs> and he and he's still got the bruises to prove it <laughs> so I've made him come up here again <laughs> so that she could film me film you yeah what you did so now i'm going to mark out that i want to put a tenon into this off a mortise just here so if i i don't want to come too close with this so i've got enough enough on here without it being a flim a space there i'm going to basically i'm going to, I'm going to put a mark on just there doesn't matter what distance doesn't matter what distance is as long as it's a mark that I want to run to. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to square off that up there. Okay? And that's my starting point. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure that distance there and put it on just here. Yeah. So Maybe you can hear us. We've got the, got the lads out there. With the tractor. Right, so from there to there is about 15 16 mil so i'm going to come in 15 16 mil from the end to there and then i'm going to square a line off that to there so this is all going to be removed all the way around even this piece you'll see in a minute even this piece will be removed and then I'll end up with a tongue that will go into here and then all I will do then is I will whatever size this tenon is I will place that onto here scribe around it then I know that that's the corresponding hole I need to cut out for it to go into okay So you mark the sides again the same, so, so you still do that same bit there. Yeah. yeah. There. And there, and there, there we're going to go. Across, Across there. Across there. My hand's going shaky holding the camera up there. Right, 
right. So you've marked it same as how you did on last week's. Yeah. And I'm going to cut all this away now. So I'm left with that tenon there. Yeah. This, this is all going to go. All this. All that. That and that. Yeah. So I'll be left with a... With a, a bent tenon. With a bent tenon. <laughs> We all know what that's like. We all know what that's like. Right, so tenons cut out. Now we know that we want to fit that edge to that edge there. So all I've been doing is I've been putting um, just one second. All I've been doing is I've been lining that up so that the shoulders this touches all the way around and it's flush there, flush at the back. And all I've been doing then is just tracing round that, like that. Now I know I've got to now cut a mortise into the end of that so that that will fit into it. So we've got, I'll just roughly do a rough drawing on here. We're going to transfer these measurements onto the end of there so that we end up having a piece in the middle, obviously you know this. I'm telling you what you already know, but <laughs> and then <laughs> gonna cut that out so yeah. that that hopefully then will go into that. Yeah. So I know your pencil's gone a bit funny there, but that isn't straight. No, that's just, that's, just me rushing just straight. to show you. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm not gonna go through you having to view me, watching me cutting another mortise out because you saw enough of that in last week's vlog. So cut the mortise out and then We'll join those together, glue, peg. Yeah. And then it will make that joint nice and nice and tight onto there for the angle of the boat. Yeah. So you just wanted to do this to show them actually just how you how I, how I came to marking it out really. Because yeah. it's the simplest way I could I could work out in my own head how to do it. Mm. Because it's on an angle. Mm. Um there is probably probably loads of ways of doing it, but it did yeah, it does yeah it you'll works. see you'll see at the end of the video yeah. it did work it's granddad's way <laughs> stop, looking, stop looking at your tooth that's falling out see this door slot there look see that little slot there yeah that's got to go into that little slot carefully carefully you see on this side i know it can i can i do it yeah but you see on this side look it's got a little little pattern on there yeah and that one's got a little pattern on it so it's that way around. That has to go into there, but you might have to do it that way. Okay, you have to be really gentle with that's it. Okay. Okay, that's the first one. Do we one. need to do it up there? Yeah, that's the first one. Second one oh, we need to is do one of these, this one. I don't need to which that goes if you come this way, milk, pull it out that way. Right. Then this one has to go into the slot into that side and we'll see if it'll work. Oh, it's hard this yeah, one. Yeah, but don't be too mad with it though because you might break it. Would you take it off? Would no, you just, just keep wiggle. Let Grandad do a bit of a wiggle with you. Watch your wiggling. Don't snap the wood. <clears throat> there. That's hard. Let me just open the door a minute. Red, watch your feet. I've got to tap it with my hand. There you go. Right. So like. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Next one goes in the top of there. Huh? Wait. Which is a fancy one. Now has that got a little? Has that got a? Has, has it got anything a, in on that side? Uh, yeah, a square. Square. 
<laughs> Which one's got a square that on That one. There? Okay. That square has to match up with that one then. Oh. So let Grandad help you so we don't... Like that. Alright. Someone's talking. Okay. It, don't, that's it. You just have to rest that there for now because it's got to be glued. And the final piece is the top one which Grandad will probably have to do because you're not tall enough. But you go on there and on top of the door. And that's going to have to close. That will, yeah, that will have to close then. It's a bit wonky there. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's supposed to be because that's the the way the boat goes, isn't it? Right, so when that's that way, won't it, Nanny? Yeah? Yeah. It's supposed to, Richie. So now the second fit without the kids. So it's all fitted in and we've put all the spacers round. And it's all correct all the way round, apart from this bit, it's just a bit too tight down that one. I think we'll uh, take a couple of mil off there then, H, yeah? Yeah. And that should we do us a couple of mil there. Because all that top top half, that's fine, it's just a couple of mil there should bring that up. Yeah. It's bring not pinching over. then, is it? No. So that it can be glued. But everything else seems fine. Yeah. I think we should just go for it. What about do it and then cut that bit off after, just plane it off to, to get that? Yeah. Or do you rather cut it now? No, we'll plane it off afterwards. Because once all the joints are tighter, it might not be. And also, we need to put it back into place and just check everything's right, don't we? Yeah. Because it might need a bit plane off somewhere else. Yeah. So, but at least it fits in the hole. <laughs> she cried. So we put this one together exactly the same way as we've done the one last yeah. week with the joints here but because this is angled when we come to do this next bit we've obviously got to cut them all into Angles. into the right angle 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 and again we're going to put spaces in one mil space we have one mil on there or we're not um no. So that's the first one's in, not put a now in this one yet, till that bit's in. Now we've just got to cut the the pieces to fit in the side for the angle bit. Angle of the dangle. So if you keep that flush to there and there, that's where we need to cut that off to, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. That line there. Extend that down there. So if we get the board and put that in place, cut it to length, get the board laid on top of there. If we put that between that pencil line and that pencil line and draw a line, we'll know what it is. Clever. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. We need to cut it off to length, though, don't we, fast? Yeah? Yep. If we go over there. Are we going to miss that knot? Yeah. Mm. Just wonder if the other end, it can be cut from the other end. 
Oh no, that's quite nice that end. Keep that. Yeah. That one's that's worse. That's a really bad one. Mm. You think yeah? This pack of boards are rubbish, aren't they? Yeah. It's weird how you get some really like decent ones yeah. and then you get a pack of absolute tripe. Tripe. Yeah, so if we do that, put that across on there. So we should be able to cut that straight away. I mean, you're right, isn't it? It says. Want me to hold it? Yeah, something like that. There? Yeah, I'm just trying to hide something that line. Right. So if we cut that off there, it should fit in, shouldn't it? Yep. moving up there at two mil that's it okay yeah is that all right at that end yeah. okay doke this hands sounding on it yeah not sounding off yeah let's get the other one in first mark how are you going to do this one now? Mm -hmm. First off, I'm going to cut this off here because I don't need all that. Yeah. So I can get it on the air. Hey, Dee. Mm. Just had an idea. Because that's not screwed down yet. Yeah. Could you lay this this board? I was gonna say lay it in, but you can't. You've just got to cut that. No, you're right. I was gonna say lay that and then lay that one on top. Yeah, you're right. If I just join that to that and then just follow that same line, it should be right. Yeah. Well done, man. I was a bit dodgy doing it freehand, doing that point, uh, so don't try that at home, kids. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so now that bit's going to sit on top of this inner frame that we said, and we've made it so it actually bends right at the joint that it bends there. So if it works, then shall we? So they're all in now.
get the start and then we can raise it up. Okay. Raise me up. Oh no. I need an aqua. Just think, Grandad, you'll be able to have a lion with the door shut without <laughs> hearing me in the other room. Right. And you may notice, because we've decided to have the door going into the bedroom, we did know when we laid the tiles that the tiles wouldn't be halfway through the door thing, but we decided just to except that yeah so when the door was closed we do see a little bit of the carpet rather than fractionally isn't it yeah but yeah it was either that or when we tiled the, the bathroom floor we had to add a small little piece at the other end Oops, in a minute, I'll push it. Right, so if it's there, it looks perfect on this side. Just a little bit. Oh, I don't know, the top's not too bad actually, is it? Not from this side. Looks equal all the way round. It looks equal on the hinge side, doesn't it? On the hinge. The hinge side looks good, and, that, and, yep. the, and the slope of the, the tumble, whatever it's called, tumbleweed, tumbleome. The tumbleome, yeah. Tumbleweed. Yeah, I mean, if anything, it's slightly bigger well, it's there, really but I don't think that's going to make. And at the bottom, it's a good grill, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what's happened at the moment, though. The Yeah, that's pulled out. But the door don't open this way anyway. I can hear it touch something yeah, though. Yeah, I'm just looking at something. It's the bottom. Yeah. That's alright, I can shave that. Does it touch the fire thing? No. I think it needs from about here tapering down so there's more up there than tapering off to nothing up here. Yeah. What on the door you mean? On the frame yeah. here. Yeah. But don't touch a fire hydrant, does it? At all. No. So the door stops have been stuck in. This one's going to be painted white. Just got to put the top one in. And the ones down this side on the wood are uh, going to be stained and varnish the same. Yeah. So there's just a bit of fill in to do. Yeah. There as they join. Yeah, once we've chopped all this out and done, done all that bit, it's ready for yeah. putting. So, we? what are you doing next then? Just put a bit of masking tape on there because the pencil lines don't show up very good on here. So, just so I can see a bit better, really. Yeah, and you're going to be doing a striker plate, which is for the door there. Obviously, it's going to need chopping out. Just got a little recess in the back, chopping out. And then the holes drilling and countersinking for that to go in. Okay. You can get them that completely uh, open. Em empty open yeah. there, but these are like this. So, mm. anyway, same thing. And we've gone for the. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know if we said it in last week's video. We've gone for the ones that uh, extend open and shut. So, if the door does um, swell, swell and shrink, shrink a bit, and stuff, yeah. we can adjust them a little bit. Yeah. They're the roller catchers. Roller catchers, that's yeah. it. Yeah. But first, now that now that's taped on there, I can now close this, close the door, and then mark exactly where that striker plate needs to go on to marry up with that. Yeah. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So I'm going to. Bye. See you later. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't say that anymore because we've lost so many subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Last week's door, we lost loads. Yeah. <laughs> don't like and don't subscribe. <laughs> yeah, there. 
so. Oops. That there. This is going to be the centre of that. It's really still hard to see in it, really. So that wants to be in the middle of there. Hmm. That's the point, why are you doing that? Someone asked why we've got our carbon monoxide thing so low down. And that was... Oh, did they? Right, yeah, yeah. That was um, uh, advice from the no, BSS yeah. guy who... Um, we had another one to go in the bedroom. We've got one in the... Because obviously yeah. it separates yeah. Sorry. The, from yeah. the one from the saloon. Um, by having the two doors yeah. but they said by the time the carbon monoxide would get to the bedroom it's gone lower down so um, he said it's best better to have the carbon monoxide below the gunnel and the one in the saloon above the gunnel so that's why that's under there yeah I've got two haven't we yeah. mm. fire extinguishers we've got three we've got four actually we've got a spare yeah. one haven't we because yeah. we didn't realize we had one we had one, brought three new we had one when we did the boat build didn't we oh yeah we brought one and then when we, we thought oh well we won't use we'll, we'll buy three new ones so they're all running the dates are all going to be running the same yeah so when we replace one replace all three yeah. but we have got a spare yeah Sorry. so we've got this one at the bow one at the stern and one in the middle and then we've got a fourth one that just sits next to the shelf <laughs> Go this side and give it a push. Yeah. Ready? Looks all right from here, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Might just need a little bit of an adjustment to open it up again, eh? Oh yeah, I forgot you can't. Open. Oh, it's not very. Yeah, I just need, need to hold to this ball, catch it. Felt 
Could you go with a bit more, do you think? Yeah, that's still quite uh, soft. Try it now. That sounded all right closing it. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I think that's good. Yeah. So we fitted these cast iron handles and these are handles that are used on cupboards usually um, but we wanted something small so that when the door opens it doesn't interfere with hitting the wardrobe and the bookcase in the saloon. I weren't exactly surprised when you said that you were leaving Felt some abstract relief instead now that we were breathing if you go going... 